Thought the preview of San Diego and Angel City. If you're just joining us after the break, welcome in. We're going to talk about another game that's going to be on CBS. Racing Louisville versus Gotham FC. That one kicking off on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern. Let's make some picks. Jordan, yeah. racing has been a team, I think, that has surprised some folks. Mm -hmm. Maybe not you, because I feel like you've been riding. I have. We're, we're racing so far. So, I, listen, they're going up against Gotham. This is a team that has mostly stayed in the upper half of the table to date for the first half of the season. Racing has just been on the outside looking in. Is this the game where maybe they're the underdogs and they give the upset and who do you pick in this one and why yeah i'm like got or i'm like a racing's little jockey you know just <laughs> ready to to cheer them on at all times i oh, they are going to be the underdog in this one because of gotham's form there i think gotham is just has shown that they have been good from the beginning of the season until now. I don't think they played their best game last weekend against Houston. And they're going to know that too. They were sloppy with the ball. They didn't really um, progress through the lines as we normally see them do. So with Gotham coming off a game like that, where they're going to want to right the wrong, um, that's a scary place for Louisville to be in. But yeah. I think, Ooh, this is this was probably the hardest one I had had to choose from because I I, I really like the way that racing is playing and um, before I make my choice I'm just gonna say a couple of reasons why I like what they're what they're doing. Yeah. They midweek they played in a four two three one and Savannah Demello played as a right winger and came inside with uh, Kayla Fisher playing as a ten. And man, oh man, I think Kayla Fisher just played herself into the starting lineup. And I, I don't think it'll be as a 10. It potentially could be. But Wong Shuang's been playing so good at the right uh, in regular season that I think it'll be DeMello at the 10 and Fisher at the 9. And what I like about this is Fisher, DeMello, and Wong, Wong Shuang, all three of them can play in all three of those positions. So I think if, if I was Kim Bjorkegren, I would go with those three starting. And they have a little bit more rest from that Wednesday game to a Sunday game. Yep. Um, but Kayla Fisher was everywhere, and she really put her mark on the game and I think is going to ask questions of the coaching staff. The other reason I like Louisville in this game is when I watch them play, their back line is so drastically different than it was last year. And one of the reasons, <laughs> one of the reasons it's different is – the way that they recognize pressure and play through it. There are so many times where Abby Ursig or Lauren Malay, whoever it may be, has someone running straight at them and they'll either like fake a long cross and chop it back and then just play through to Jalen Howell or Ari Borges. They can, they can meet that pressure with a sense of calm, which a lot of people don't do against Gotham. And I, I do think it's a different level when you're playing against Lynn Williams screaming at you at high pace versus other forwards in this league. But I like how cool and calm they are playing out of the back because they're going to face a high pressure from, from Gotham. So they have to be really solid in those moments. Um, so I think it's going to be key for Gotham to match that with high pressure, but also that second wave of pressure has to be on. And that's their midfield who I think didn't play – up to par in that last game and oh i don't know i yeah. think i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna go with racing in this one um but it is gonna be both teams are gonna score we might see multiple goals in this one but i, I think that this is gonna be a really good this is my like matchup yeah. of the and just because these the way these two teams play they want the ball they want to play through the lines and then as they're progressing the ball they're very unpredictable in what they do especially now with DeMello playing in different positions it's not so much just like find the left pocket and DeMello is going to be there so yeah. you have to deny that space if you're, you're, uh, you're the opponent it's so many more things now so this is this is going to be a good one i hope like people in Louisville show up show yeah. out on CBS Sunday afternoon. Like this could be, this could be the match to watch. 
Look, I, I'm with you. And I think you got to go sometimes with what's in front of you. And while Gotham had an incredible month of May, they literally put their stamp on it and owned it. They had multiple players on the team of the month, et cetera, et cetera. Lynn Williams, you know, doing what she's been doing on a consistent basis mm-hmm. for this team. But they, they've they hit a little bit of a hiccup here in June. They've struggled to get some results. And we both went racing in our Challenge Cup pick, and they did not disappoint. I mean, talk about a massive performance against Houston Dash, a three-goal shutout for Challenge Cup. They're walking out of this central region into the semifinals, as far as I'm convinced, who they're going to face. Within that is still to be determined. But it's a little bit different going from a Wednesday game to a Sunday game. It is a little bit different. It's it's different yeah. from, from Wednesday to Saturday or, or Wednesday to, to Friday. Thank God that's not the, the case here. But uh, these these are games that can you have the momentum and you carry that into your next match. And for racing, they get to do that again at home. And now this yeah. time going up against Gotham, I think they might be motivated by that. Um, all these different scenarios in terms of kind of just hovering and hovering and hovering around the halfway line in terms of the standings. And maybe kind of having that statement game, which is, I think, a thing that I want from racing and not that we haven't had some games where they have made some statements, but I'm looking for racing to not only get a win, but I want them to get a win against an upper half table team. And I think this could be the game where it happens. I don't know if it'll, I don't know if it'll be easy for them. Um, There's a lot of pieces there that they're going to have to account for against, uh, against Gotham. Uh, I feel like Yasmin Ryan, if she's available and ready to go, is going to cause some problems yeah. for them if they focus so much energy on containing, um, you know, Lynn, Lynn Williams. Um, so this could be a player uh, that could be an outlet for them, or even a Taylor Smith, or even a Brunian on the flanks. We'll see. I think that those those wide battles are going to be interesting to take a note. You know, we're talking about defensive shapes. Carson Pickett doing really well on that back line as well mm-hmm. to go ahead and recover and cover a lot of ground. Um, you know, is that going to be an area where things are canceled out, where we see, you know, two players in a Brunian and Brunian and, and and Carson Pickett, you know, trying to to kind of take each other out. So I'm I'm very curious about some of the the one be one in, in individual yeah. battles in this one but can't help but something i'm just going with a gut here i, I, yeah. I think it's going to be racing so i'm also going racing yeah. as well and i feel i feel confident about that because you know what we both went racing and they didn't prove us wrong and i feel like right. we're them again so we're both going yeah. racing in this one that one v one the one v one matchup i'm looking at is if demello does play on the right side against yeah. nice longer who's not you know she's still learning how to be an outside back there's been some moments um, where that's been pretty evident and nice Swanger, I think is a good choice at left back, but who's that center back next to her willing and ready to be that second defender and that help defender. I think that's going to be the key for Gotham. If nice Swanger does start and Demello's on the right side, cause that girl will go everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. We're both going, we're both going racing in this one. Hopefully they prove us correct.